Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're walking into a big one bedroom at 915 Greenleaf, number two west. If I point the camera to the left, we see a big living room with a lot of light and beautiful hardwood floors. If I were to look straight ahead, we'd see a brand new kitchen. And if I were to go to the right, we would continue down to see the bedroom and the bath. We're gonna start by looking at the living room, which is a big room, easily 14 feet across, probably 17 feet or more long. The primary windows, the windows we're facing right now are facing south, so you get terrific light. You can see the windows on the right would be facing left, uh, west, and the windows on the left would be facing east. As we walk into the living room, we see a nice decorative fireplace. The wood trim is the original cherry stain trim, which is really uh, very pretty and a nice offset to the gleaming hardwood floors. There are shelves of either, on either side of the decorative fireplace, and the windows are facing west. As we look up to see the windows, we also see sconces on the wall. So the lighting is installed on the wall and is really balanced around the whole living room, right to where I'm standing. The walls are flawless. The trim is the cherry color. Huge radiator, so you'll get lots of heat. And as I walk into the apartment, I should have raised the, uh, the shades, but you're looking out onto Greenleaf between Maple and Elmwood. Very pretty street near uh, both trains, the CTA and the uh, Metra, and very close to the groceries, both Jewel and Trader Joe's. Now, as I look back, you can see the entry on the right, and you can see a breakfast bar that goes through to the kitchen. Again, we see the uh, decorative fireplace and the windows facing west. The hardwood floors again have just been refinished and are fabulous. And it also shows you the expanse of the living room. And there's the lighting that I mentioned. I'm gonna walk straight forward towards the breakfast bar. And I guess I'll just stop and give you a little bit closer look because it is a darker stain. It's not that easy to pick up but you can see the shelf space is quite a bit. And then you have the surface space here. And you actually, the windows are beveled glass, which is a nice touch. Not why you'd rent the apartment, but a nice touch. Just as we look across the breakfast bar, we see everything in the kitchen is new. New cabinets, new microwave, new stove, new dishwasher, and new fridge. That uh, blue that you see is not really the color of the appliances. That's a thin covering over to protect the stainless steel. So we'll walk around the breakfast bar and examine the uh, kitchen more closely. We'll start, let's start with the uh, fridge, which is a nice size fridge. I think it's about five feet, eight inches high. Nice freezer on top. You can see it is brand new. It really has not really ever been set up yet. And there are the crisper drawers and the internals of the refrigerator, as well as the shelves. The countertop is a laminate, but there is very good counter space. The cabinets themselves are brand new. So this would be like walking into being the first user of all of these. So you have another cabinet just like that Two more that would be the equivalent of that, and then a little shorter cabinet and a little thinner cabinet. I'll open the thinner cabinet as we look at the microwave. You have a stainless steel sink with a hose attachment and a soap dispenser. Hose attachment is for, uh, uh, for dishes. We have cabinets underneath, which are really important because they are deeper. And so they're good for pots and pans and appliances. Whoops, I'm losing focus. There we go. So the underneath is terrific. The drawer, we also have a big drawer. We still have some hardware in the drawer. 
Lots of outlets. So we have just a couple of finishing touches, but we have three outlets in the kitchen, which is super helpful. Nice new dishwasher. Again, you have all the uh, original paperwork here, but it's full-sized and it's ready to go. The apartment has terrific water pressure. And there you see just the hot water. And there is the hose attachment, the soap dispenser. It is draining. Everything has just been installed, so we know it's going to be squeaky clean, dry, and ready to use. Just show you this corner cabinet because you have a little bit more depth. Then we'll show you the stove and I'm going to step back a little bit. So we still have to put on the burner tops, uh, but it's a full size stove. And what I'm talking about stainless steel, see how that blue cellophane pulls back and you have a stainless steel finish. That's true for the stove and the dishwasher as well. I'm going to open it up. Wow, you still have some hardware in there. This is really a brand, brand, brand new stove. And the microwave is the same. Never been used. And this is that thin cabinet. That would be good for like spices and other things. Salt, pepper, that kind of thing. And you have a little plug for your uh, coffee maker. So one more look. Sort of the breakfast bar. You know what I didn't show you is the cabinets under the breakfast bar. There's five of these cabinets. And again, they're nice because they're hidden. So you can put a lot of stuff down there. And you look up across from the breakfast bar back into the uh, living room. So one more look at the living room, the breakfast bar, the cabinets underneath, the new fridge, more cabinets, new stove, new dishwasher, stainless steel sink, brand new microwave, lots of storage on top, beautiful cabinets, a uh, beautiful countertop. The whole place has beautiful uh, hardwood floors. And on the way to the bathroom, we have a, a smaller closet. And this hasn't been fully flushed out, so we'll, there'll be a hanging bar and a shelf in there. The bath has been redone, so we have new tiles. These are ceramic tiles, a little bit colorful. New sink, new cabinet under the sink, new medicine cabinet, and you have two lighting fixtures. So you have light right over the mirror, which is nice, but you also have central lighting. A tank toilet, as we walk in, you see a tank toilet. This, of course, is all new. You see the outlet there. There is a radiator. The tiles are all brand new. So these are flawless. And the tub has been reglazed. So the tub is cast iron and is the original tub, but it looks brand new. Again, excellent water pressure. So we're just going to go with a high. I don't want to get this on anything, so I'm going to hold this so as not to uh, damage what's new in the bath. There is the water pressure from the shower. The shower is actually adjustable, but you can see the water pressure is good, and it's draining, and that's just the hot water. That is some awkward camera work, and I apologize. But everything in the bath is so new that I don't want the water spraying on the floor. You can see the water pressure is very good. And it's draining really well. Huh. Well, that could have been better. I could have been smarter about that. But everything is spotless, including the toilet. And including, again, the water pressure here and underneath. Is of course brand new and easily easily used. Above, you have a couple of baskets for knickknacks, and then you have a medicine cabinet. And again, you have the lights right over the mirror should you want to use them. Towel bar and another outlet.
So it's really a nice new bath. Because of the way the door is situated, it's hard for me to give you a look at everything at one time. But this would be like you were the first person using it, which is really great. So we'll continue into the bedroom from the bath. We go into the bedroom. And uh, well, I'm sort of debating on whether to turn on a light here. I'll turn it on just in case. Uh, you see that that is a back door to a hall that leads to the back door outside. The bedroom would easily do a queen size bed. Probably not perfect for a king size bed. You see the radiator. Uh, it does have a ceiling fan, some nice new light fixture. Really pretty there. And we have a bedroom closet here that goes, it's probably like three and a half feet or so shelf hanging bar and two feet deep. So that's kind of nice. If I stand here by the closet, I'm just going to shut for a second, give you a look around. You see three outlets which is nice. And what you don't see is that there's another closet behind the bedroom door. And this is also two feet deep. Probably only goes about two and a half feet. Whoops, sorry about that. Change the lighting too quickly. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Come on. to go a little more slow because the lighting in the closet changes and that throws the camera off. But it's about three feet across, two feet deep. Again, you have a hanging bar and you have some shelves up on top. So there we go. So you have two closets in the bedroom, which is nice. As you come out, you look down the hall towards the kitchen, past the bath, and you have that hall closet. One more look at the bedroom. And the ceiling fan. We'll walk past the new bath, past the hall closet. Get another look at the brand new kitchen. We'll get rid of that blue cellophane, of course. The living room is extremely pretty. It's a big room. And that will bring us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.